Good morning. Glad that you're with me. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're in Jeremiah 40, 40, Jeremiah 42, verse 1, and we're in the Names of God version of the Bible. We're using the Daily Audio Bible app on the web player. It's free. And if you want to follow along, again, we're in the, day, the Names of God version of the Bible. He uses a different version of the Bible each week. I'm not watching a video. Um, it's actually a web player. He's just talking, but I'm following along in the Bible Gateway app in their Names of Version of the Bible. So I'm following along there. So let's go ahead and open in prayer. Lord, I just thank you for this day, and I thank you for those that will listen, and I pray that you would bless this day. Bless this time that we're in your word, and I pray that you would help me to learn and apply it to my life. Forgive me for my sins, Lord. Forgive me for failing you. Forgive me for falling short. Forgive me for not being who I need to be. And help me, Lord, to be who you've called me to be today. In Jesus' name, amen. Alrighty. Good morning, Randy. Glad that you're with us. We will go ahead and get started. I will start him. Verse Jeremiah 1 42. through 44, verse... 23 One, today. and we're in the Names of God version of the Bible. Then all the army commanders, along with Kareah's son, Yohanan, and Hoshea's son, Jezaniah, and all the people, Jeremiah 42, from the least important to 40, the most important, one, one. came to the prophet Jeremiah. They said to him, Please listen to our request and pray to Yahweh, your Elohim, for all of us who are left here. As you can see, there are only a few of us left. Let Yahweh, your Elohim, tell us where we should go and what we should do. Sorry, Jeremiah 42, 4. The prophet Jeremiah answered them, I have listened to your request. I will pray to Yahweh, your Elohim, as you have requested, and I will tell you everything Yahweh says. I won't keep anything from you. So they said to Jeremiah, May Yahweh be a true and faithful witness against us if we don't do exactly what Yahweh, your Elohim, tells us to do. We will obey Yahweh, our Elohim, to whom we are sending you, whether it's good or bad. Yes, we will obey Yahweh, our Elohim, so that everything will go well for us. After ten days, Yahweh spoke his word to Jeremiah. So Jeremiah called Kareah's son, Yohanan, all the army commanders who were with him, and all the people from the least important to the most important. Jeremiah said to them, You sent me to plead your case humbly to Yahweh. This is what Yahweh, Elohim of Israel, says. Suppose you stay in this land, then I will build you up and not tear you down. I will plant, plant you, you and not, and not uproot, uproot you. you. I, I will, will change my plans about the disaster, disaster I've brought, brought on you. you. Don't God be afraid of the mind. king of Babylon, whom you plans. now fear. Trust God. Don't be afraid of him, declares Yahweh. I'm with you. I, I will save, save you and rescue you, you from, from his, his power. power. I will have compassion on you. I will make him have compassion on you, and, and return, return you to, to your, your land. land. But suppose you say, we won't stay in this land, and you disobey Yahweh, mm. your Elohim. Then you say, we'll go to Egypt, where we won't have to see war, hear the sound of ram's horn, or be hungry. We'll stay there. Now listen to the word of Yahweh, you people who are left in Judah. This is what Yahweh, Zabaoth, the Elohim of Israel, says. Suppose you're determined to go to Egypt, and you go and live there. Then the wars you fear will catch up with you in Egypt. The famines you dread will follow you to Egypt, and you will die there. So all the people who decide to go and live in Egypt will die in wars, famines, and plagues. No one will survive or escape the disasters I will bring on them. This is what Yahweh, Zabaoth, the Elohim of Israel says. As my anger and my fury were poured out on those who live in Jerusalem, 
so my fury will be poured out on you if you go to Egypt. You will become a curse word. You will become something ridiculed, cursed, and disgraced. You won't see this place again. Yahweh has told you people who are left in Judah not to go to Egypt. You need to know I'm that I am warning you today. today. You only deceived yourselves when you sent me to Yahweh, your Elohim, and said, Pray to Yahweh, our Elohim, for us. And tell us everything that Yahweh, our Elohim, says. And we'll do it. And we'll do it. But then they don't want to I do have it. told you today, but you won't obey anything Yahweh, your Elohim, sent me to tell you. But now, you need to know that you will die in wars, famines, or plagues, in the place where you want to go and live. Because it's against what God wants for them. So Jeremiah finished telling all the people the message from Yahweh, their Elohim. He told them everything Yahweh, their Elohim, sent him to tell them. Azariah, son of Hoshea, Yohanan, son of Kariah, and all the arrogant people said to Jeremiah, You're lying. Way. Yahweh, our Elohim, didn't send you to tell us that we must not go to live in Egypt. But Baruch, son of Neriah, has turned you against us in order to hand us over to the Babylonians. Then they will kill us or take us as captives to Babylon. So Yohanan, son of Korea, all the army commanders, and all the people didn't obey Yahweh. They didn't stay in Judah. God would have protected Yohanan, son of Korea, and all the army commanders took all the people who were left in Judah to Egypt. They thought they were protecting themselves. These were all the people who had come back to Judah from the places where they had been scattered. They took men, women, children, and the king's daughters. They took every person who Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had left with Gedaliah, son of Ahikam, and grandson of Shaphan, including the prophet Jeremiah and Baruch, son of Neriah. They, didn't they didn't listen, listen to, to Yahweh, Yahweh. so, so they, they went, went to Egypt. Egypt. They went as far as Tophanes. Then Yahweh spoke his word to Jeremiah in Tophnes. He said, Take some large stones and bury them under the brick pavement at the entrance to the Pharaoh's palace in Tophnes. Do this while the people of Judah watch you. How hard for Say Jeremiah. To them, this is what Yahweh, Zabaoth, the Elohim of Israel, says. I'm going to send for my servant King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. I will set his throne over these stones that I buried, and I will spread his royal canopy above them. He will defeat Egypt. He will bring death to those who are supposed to die. He will capture those who are supposed to be captured. He will kill in battle those who are supposed to be killed in battle. He will set fire to the temples of Egypt's gods. He will burn down the temples and take their gods captive. Nebuchadnezzar will put on Egypt as his coat, as a shepherd puts on his coat. He will leave Egypt peacefully. At Bet Shemesh, he will break the monuments in Egypt and burn down the temples of Egypt's gods. Because God will do what he says he's going to do, whether you're Yahweh for God or against God. Yahweh spoke his word to Jeremiah about Jeremiah all the Jews 44. living in Egypt at Migdal, Tophnes, Nof, and Pathros. This is what Yahweh Tzabaoth, the Elohim of Israel, says. Jerusalem, and on all the cities of Judah, Today they are deserted ruins. It is because their people did evil, and they made me angry. They went to burn incense and serve other gods that neither you nor your ancestors heard of. I have sent my servants, the prophets, to you again and again, to tell you not to do these detestable things that I hate. But you, but you wouldn't, wouldn't listen, listen or pay, or pay attention. attention. 
you wouldn't turn from your wicked ways and wouldn't stop burning, stop burning incense, incense as an offering to other gods. That is why my fury and anger were poured out and continued to burn in the cities of Judah and on the streets of Jerusalem. So they became, so they became the, the desolate ruin that they are today. Hi, Brian. Now this is we're in Yahweh, chapter 44, Elohim, verse Tabeoth, 7 of Jeremiah, the in the Name for God says, version of the Bible. Why do you bring this disaster on yourselves? Why do you keep destroying men, women, children, and babies from Judah until none are left? Why do you make me angry by burning incense to other gods in Egypt, where you have come to live? You will destroy yourselves and be cursed and ridiculed by all the nations on earth. Have you forgotten the wicked things done by your ancestors, by the kings of Judah and their wives, and by you and your wives in Judah and on the streets of Jerusalem? You have not humbled, humbled yourselves, yourselves even, even to this, to this day. day. You, you haven't, haven't feared me or lived, or lived your, your lives by my teachings or by, by my decrees that I, that gave, I gave your ancestors. ancestors. They just were not right this with God. This is what Yahweh, Tzabayoth, the Elohim of Israel says. I'm going to bring disaster on you and destroy all of Judah. I will take away from Judah those who are left those who were determined to go to live in Egypt. They will die in Egypt, all of them, from the least important to the most important, will die in wars or be brought to an end by famines. They will become something cursed, ridiculed, and disgraced. I will punish those living in Egypt as I punished Jerusalem with wars, famines, and plagues. None of the people of Judah who went to live in Egypt will survive or return to Judah, where they long to return and live. Only a few refugees will return there. Then all the men who knew that their wives were burning incense to other gods, all the women who were standing there, and all the people who lived at Pathros in Egypt answered Jeremiah. They said, we won't, we won't listen, listen to, to the, the message messages. that you have spoken, spoken to us in Yahweh's name. They just won't listen. We will do everything morning, we Donna. said we would do. We will burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and Jeremiah pour out wine 44, offerings verse to her as our ancestors, and the names of our God kings, and of our officials did in the cities of Judah and on the streets of Jerusalem. We had plenty to eat then, and we lived comfortably and saw no disaster. But since we stopped burning incense to the Queen of Heaven and pouring out wine offerings to her, we have had nothing but wars and famines. The women added, when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven, poured out wine offerings to her, and made cakes for her with her image on them, do you think our husbands didn't approve? Then Jeremiah said to all the people, both men and women, to everyone who answered him, doesn't Yahweh remember that you burned incense in the cities of Judah and on the streets of Jerusalem along with your ancestors, mm -hmm. your kings and your officials, and the people in the land? This is what happened. Yahweh, Yahweh could, could no, no longer bear, bear the wicked and detestable things you did. did. That, that is why, why your land has become, become something ruined, destroyed, destroyed and, and cursed. cursed. No, no one lives in that land today. today. You burned incense as offerings to other gods, sinned against Yahweh, and wouldn't obey him. You didn't live by his teachings, decrees, or written instructions. That is why you have met with this disaster as it is today. Okay, I think we're in the Second Timothy 2. New Testament. Second Timothy 2. My child, find your source of strength in the kindness of Christ, Yeshua. You've heard my message, and it's been confirmed by many witnesses. Entrust this message to faithful individuals 
who will be competent to teach others. Join me in suffering like a good soldier of Christ, Yeshua. Whoever serves in the military doesn't get mixed up in non-military activities. This pleases his commanding officer. Whoever enters an athletic competition wins the prize only when playing by the rules. A hard-working farmer should have the first share of the crops. Understand what I'm saying. The, the Lord, Lord will help you understand, understand all, all these things. things. And he still will today. Always think about Yeshua, Christ. He was brought back to life and is a descendant of David. This is the good news that I tell others. I'm suffering disgrace for spreading this good news. I have even been put into prison like a criminal. However, God's word is not imprisoned. No. For that reason, I endure everything for the sake of those who have been chosen, so that they, too, may receive salvation from Christ, Yeshua, with glory that lasts forever. This is a statement that can be trusted. If we have, if died, we have with died with him, him we, will live with we will live with him. If we endure, if we, endure we, will rule with him. we will rule with him. If we disown, if we him, disown him, he will disown he us. Will disown us. If, we are unfaithful, if we are unfaithful, he remains faithful. He remains faithful because he cannot be, untrue, he cannot be untrue to himself. To himself. Praise God. Remind believers about these things and warn them in the sight of God not to quarrel over words. Quarreling doesn't do any good but only destroys those who are listening. Do your best to present yourself to God as a tried and true worker who isn't ashamed to teach the word of truth correctly. Avoid pointless discussions. People who pay attention to these pointless discussions will become more ungodly, and what they say will spread like cancer. Hymenaeus and Philetus are like that. They have abandoned the truth. They are destroying the faith of others by saying that people who have died have already come back to life. In spite of all that, God's people have a solid foundation. These words are engraved on it. The Lord knows those who belong to him. Yes. And whoever yes, worships the Lord must give up doing wrong. In a large house, there are not only objects made of gold and silver, but also those made of wood and clay. Some objects are honored when they are used. Others aren't. Those who stop associating with dishonorable people will be honored. They will be set apart for the master's use, prepared to do good things. Stay away from lusts which tempt young people. Pursue what has God's approval. Pursue, Pursue faith, faith, love, and peace, and peace together, together with, with those who worship the Lord with a pure, with a pure heart. heart. That's what we should be doing. Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments. You know they cause quarrels. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel. Instead, he must be kind to everyone. He must be a good teacher. He must be willing to suffer wrong. He must be gentle in correcting those who oppose the good news. Maybe, Maybe God, God will allow them to change, change the way they, they think, think and act, and, act and, lead and lead them to know the truth. Then they might come back to their senses, and God will, and God will free, free them from, from the devil's snare, so that they, so can, that they do can do his, his will. will. Okay, so now we're in Psalms. Psalm 92 and 93. A psalm. A song for the day of worship. It is good to give thanks to Yahweh, to make music to praise your name, 
Oh, Elyon. It is good to announce your mercy in the morning and your faithfulness in the evening on a ten-stringed instrument and a harp and with a melody on a lyre. You made me find joy in what you have done, O oh Yahweh. I will sing joyfully about the works of your hands. How spectacular are your works, O oh Yahweh. How very deep are your thoughts. A stupid person cannot know and a fool cannot understand that wicked people sprout like grass. And all troublemakers blossom like flowers, only, only to, be to be destroyed, destroyed forever. forever. But you, O oh Yahweh, are highly honored forever. Now look at your enemies, O oh Yahweh. Now look at your enemies. They disappear, and all troublemakers are scattered. But you make me as strong as a wild bull and soothing lotion is poured on me. My eyes gloat over those who spy on me. My ears hear the cries of evildoers attacking me. Righteous people flourish like palm trees and grow tall like the cedars in Lebanon. They are, they are planted in, in Yahweh's, Yahweh's house. house. They, blossom they blossom in Elohim's courtyards. Even, Even when, when they are old, old they, they still, still bear, bear fruit. fruit. They, are they are always healthy and fresh. They, they make, make it known that Yahweh is decent. decent. He is my rock. He is never, he is never unfair. unfair. Thank you, God. Yahweh rules as king. He is clothed with majesty. Yahweh has clothed himself. He has armed himself with power. The world was set in place. It cannot be moved. Your throne was set in place a long time ago. You are eternal. The ocean rises, O oh Yahweh. The ocean rises with a roar. The ocean rises with its pounding waves. Yahweh above is mighty. Mightier than the sound of raging water. Mightier than the foaming waves of the sea. Your written testimonies are completely reliable. O oh Yahweh, holiness is what makes your house beautiful for days without end. Mm -hmm. And then Proverbs. Proverbs 26, 3 through 5. A whip is for the horse, a bridle is for the donkey, and a rod is for the backs of fools. Do not answer a fool with his own stupidity, or you will be like him. Answer a fool with his own stupidity, or he will think he is wise. <laughs> so there you go. Okay, so let's look at some context so go today, mostly. And end there. I'm so grateful that you were able to join us. With what we've read, I pray that you're able to get involved and get into your word and read it and study it for yourself. I'm grateful that you were here and you joined me, and I pray that what we heard will bless you as it's blessed me. And I pray that you would have a very awesome day. Thanks so much.